back in Germany, when I was still living in Germany, I was a sports journalist and then um, I met my wife here in Thailand who is also a sports journalist or was when she was younger. And the whole family, my wife's family is uh, in the Muay Thai business. My mother uh, ran Chem Boxing magazine for a good 30, 40 years now. And my uh, wife's dad was also in the Muay Thai business. And so the whole family. And um, I decided I wanted to do something in sports journalism again. So uh, I asked my mom, my mother-in-law whether I can just go to the stadiums and uh, try it out. And I, she got me a press pass. And then uh, at the beginning, I just took a camera and took it uh, ringside because I didn't have a spot uh, to stand. And then after a while, everybody kind of accepted that the foreigners coming there is a camera. And then uh, I'll, I took a tripod and then I started uploading uh, to YouTube. And I thought, let's see if someone watches. But it grew and it grew and uh, it surprised me a little bit how big it got after a few months of the year it all started. I learned that you should stick with what you want to do uh, because, you know, I didn't make any money with it at least for I don't know, a year or, or even more and uh, I just wanted to continue. Uh, I learned a lot obviously about Muay Thai, not only about the sport, uh, because I was kind of green to be honest when I uh, got into this whole business. Um, it is a business and especially a gambling business, right? So if you look at the stadiums, the influence of the gamblers is very big, uh, probably much bigger than before. And on a personal level, um, I don't think anyone is going to get rich from Muay Thai journalism. It's something you love and then if you can find your niche where you can uh, maybe find sponsorship or you can, you can basically uh, find something what works for you. That, that's, uh, if you don't have the luck for Muay Thai, don't start it, right? It's not gonna be uh, something you get rich with, but um, it's, uh, you need to be able to find your niche and that's, uh, and take it from there.